Good evening, Shumbala Vets! Welcome back sa Feeble Feet Vlog. At dito na naman tayo para sa panibagong content. And I know you guys are excited. This was the continuation of our previous video na paano kami kinasal sa Philippine Consulate dito sa Dubai. Yes. So the topic of this video, and alam nyo naman na we're doing the paano kami serye. So ito yung continuation niya. The topic of this video is paano naman namin pinatest and pinapostel yung aming marriage certificate both sa Philippines and sa UAE. So, bakit ba natin kailangan ipa-apostle and ipa-attest rin? The reason why kailangan natin ipa-apostle at ipa-UAE uh, attestation, Philippines and Dubai, is for legal use then sa future. Yes, that's correct. So, before we start, we would like to ask you guys again to like and share our videos. Siyempre, uh, subscribe na rin kayo so updated kayo sa mga bago namin videos. And if talaga natutuwa kayo, nakita namin yung last video guys, ang ganda ng views, hindi man ganun karami but it's it's different compared to the normal videos that we're uploading yes. guys. Thank Maraming you. Thank salama. you very very much for that one. And ayan, continue to support us guys and syempre magpapatuloy kami magbigay ng mga gatong informative na videos. Ayan, so let's get started with the steps on paano kami nagpa-postel. First, kailangan natin i-request ang PSA copy ng marriage certificate. Sa previous video natin, kung naaalala nyo yung maliit na paper na yellow, di ba sinabi ko doon yung during the wedding reminders and after the wedding reminders. So doon sa after, naka-indicate doon kung ano yung mga dapat nyong gawin after the wedding day. So naka-indicate doon na you will have to wait for email confirmation na na-report na yung marriage no sa PSA. By the way, na-receive namin yung email confirmation from the Philippine Consulate Marriage Section noong February 2020. So, syempre, hindi natin na-expect na pagka March 2020 is mag na yung mga lockdowns due to pandemic. Yes. So, it took us a while ma-request para ma-request yung marriage certificate namin sa PSA. So, last October 2020, na finally, na-request na namin yung aming marriage certificate sa PSA Servilis. So, mabilis lang naman yung pagpapa-request from PSA Servilis. It inabot lang nung time na yon ng around one week for it to be delivered dun sa lugar namin. And uh, my parent actually received the PSA marriage certificate on my behalf. So, as we said earlier, kaya namin ginawa to is for the legal purposes rin. Kaya gusto namin ipapostel and pa-attest yung aming Aming mga mar- yung aming marriage certificate. In order for us to proceed dun sa pag-apostle and attest ng aming marriage certificate, kailangan din namin ng SPA. If you will remember dun sa previous uh, video namin, SPA is napakalaking part siya ng pag-request nito kasi wala nga gagawa sa amin uh, on our behalf sa Philippines yes. kasi nandito kami sa Dubai. So, same procedure will have to request the SPA sa Philippine Consulate. And dahil nga pandemic to, nagpabook muna kami ng uh, appointment. Skit, uh, appointment sa Philippine Consulate para makapag-request ng SPAs. SPA stands for Special Power of Attorney. Ito yung document na uh, magpapatunay na mayroong ka-representative sa Pilipinas na inaalaw mo sila na gawin yung mga pagpapates, pag apostle on your behalf. Exactly. Nangyari itong pag-request namin ng SPA around November 2020 na. So, it took us a while din pag, sa pag-request nito kasi antagal din nung mga time frame na hinintay namin para ma-confirm namin na ready yung marriage certificate namin sa Pilipinas. Yes. And uh, just to add, once you request for the SPA, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-pick up dun sa consulate. Kasi nung time na yon since pandemic nga, it is being delivered kung saan mo man gusto ipa-deliver dito sa UAE. Yes. So, the third step, pag nakuha mo na yung SPA and ready na yung marriage certificate mo sa Pilipinas is to send the actual SPA from UAE to your Philippines. to the Philippines. I mean, so, sa place mo sa Pilipinas. Kasi para magamit nila SPA to have your uh, marriage certificate apostled and then attested sa UAE Embassy. December 2020 came. So, it took us a while then, kasi nagkaroon ng Christmas break and New Year break. So, lahat ng government uh, offices sa Philippines is closed dahil nga sa holiday. Pero it's worth the wait naman nung na-confirm namin sa aming representative na apostled and attested na siya from the UAE Embassy sa Philippines. Yes, medyo mahaba rin yung gap nung aming mga na aming inantay kasi syempre it jumped from DFA and then went back to our sponsor. And then from there, pinadala namin. Kasi hindi mo pwede diretso sa UAE Embassy yon 
will have to connect with the delivery service. Yes, kasi nga uh, iniiwasan din yung person to person contact dahil nga may pandemic. So lahat is parang deliver first and then come deliver so, so on and so forth. Although when uh, it comes to attestation sa UAE Embassy, hindi talaga nila inaallow to. You'll have to go to delivery services. Dahil dun lang sila uh, magpa-process and then ibabalik nila through that same delivery services din. January 2021 came, so immediately we requested that document na may pa-deliver dito sa Dubai para ma-request namin siya for attestation rin dito sa MOFA. Last step, ang um, pagpapa-request ng attestation dito sa MOFA Dubai. Ayan siya. So once ma-attest na siya sa MOFA Dubai, kumpleto na ang marriage certificate, apostilled, attested sa dalawang UAE Embassy, UAE Embassy in the Philippines and UAE Embassy dito mismo sa Dubai. So, kompleto na marriage certificate. That's the end actually of our step-by-step -step procedure. At ito na siya. Yes, tada. Ito yung apostle. At ito ang attestation part. So, yung purple is from Philippines and yung blue-green part is from dito sa Malfa, Dubai. Ayan. So, this is the complete... Uh, legal valid document ng marriage certificate na pwede nyo gamitin for other legal purposes and other purposes that you would need it for. Ayan. So, yung mga next videos namin guys, may kita nyo na gagamitin namin to for sure to be an exciting paano kami serye. So, we hope you learn from the steps that we gave you kung paano nyo ipapa-apostel and ipapa-attest rin nyo inyong mga documents. When it comes doon sa lugar naman ng MOFA kung saan kayo pwede magpates, we'll provide the links and the addresses or the map kung saan man to pwede on the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video again. So, ito po yung pangalawa doon sa aming Paano Kami Serye. Paano Kami kung Kinasal Serye. Ayan. So, uh, wait for more videos kung paano namin papapapalitan ang apelido ni Dale into my surname. So, very excited na kami doon sa part na yun. Kaya namin rin pinanasas to marriage certificate. So, watch out for that one. And thank you guys for watching. See you on our next video. Bye! Bye!